Hello, my friends. Most of you just saw me a couple minutes ago on a card video on your reading, um, but I have decided I'm going to bring something back that I started probably about a year or two years ago. It's been a while. Um, doing some reviews on some of my favorite products. So one of them is we're going to take a look at we're going to take a look at two products. One of them is the John Holland. Um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck. I have his other deck, Love. Now, I am going to say none of this is sponsored, no affiliates, nothing. Um, I'm giving you guys reviews on, you know, things that I love. Um, and, you know, if there's something that you want me to review or you want me to look at, just let me know. Um, you know gosh, I have so many things that I can review here, but I think we're going to limit it to two today. So, this, first of all, I mean, beautiful. And as you see, I keep my cards in. Here's another one. That's the one I just read with. I keep them in the boxes. You can keep them however you want. I've had a bunch of people ask me, well, you know, should I keep them wrapped in fabric? There's all sorts of superstitions and traditions. And in the end, um, keeping my decks in their box actually saved them. I, uh, many years ago, had been in a car accident, and I was in a rental car, and all my decks were in the trunk, and um, it ended up that uh, water got in. It didn't close all the way, and had these been in fabric, they would have been destroyed because they were in the nice box. They were actually kept safe and sound. But the other benefit is if they're wrapped in fabric, I can't tell one from the other. I have like 30 different decks. And so if they're wrapped in fabric, well, I have no idea. And at some point, you're just going to run out of fabric. Um, so by keeping the box, I go, oh, that's the deck I want to use. There it is. So First, again, here, I'll give you a nice up close, the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot for the heart. I just, I mean, the artwork. And I will tell you, I pick Oracle decks um, and tarot decks based on the artwork. So let's take it out. This is fairly new. I got this, um, oh, probably about a year ago. But I mean, look, the gilding is still beautiful. And I use these at least two or three times a month. My original John Holland deck is, it's like worn. It's worn. All the edges are broken. But I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous. I love when you take a deck out of the box and that's how it looks. All of you card makers, take note. The gilded decks are great. Um, the other thing that I like is now I shuffle. I do not do the shuffling like this. One, because it can ruin the edges much faster. But two, that's just not how I shuffle. I'm never successful with that. And I find that it doesn't give it a really good shuffle when I do that. Some people are really adept at it. So what I like is, is that I can hold it easily in one hand. Um, it fits the hand really well. Um, there is a really good number of cards. It's a 65 card deck. So when I shuffle, I shuffle just like playing cards. And let's see. I also like that there's no orientation on here. This is something that when I mean orientation, you can't tell if it's right side up or upside down. Now, if you read reverses, this is important to you because sometimes you don't want to know ahead of time if a card is reversed or not. Um, and there are some decks like I, um, I like the Dorian Virtue ones, um, but they oftentimes will have an orientation. Um, and I believe my Sonia Chiquette deck also has an orientation, which I love that deck, but I don't like knowing ahead of time um, because it already taints my view, and sometimes I like to lay a card down, put my hand over it, and just see what I can get. And if I already know ahead of time that it's upside down, then, you know, it really, it, it, it kind of stops up my intuition. So I love that this has no orientation. The other thing that I love is it's very little writing on it. 
I do not like the decks that assume that you have no intuition. It has one word. That's it. And if you're into numerology, sometimes I like um, when patterns come out when I lay out the cards. But again, I mean, look at that artwork. That artwork is just gorgeous. It's simple. It's clean. There's enough colors that if you use colors as your imagery, um, you're, you know, you're going to get something. Um, I mean, just here, let's turn these around. I mean, look at these cards. And I like that they have the chakra cards. Um, I do a lot of work with chakras and I love that they have the chakra cards on them. This is a beautiful one, the blossom. And again, most of these are oriented towards um, interpersonal and personal relationships, intra, inter, um, meaning relationship with yourself or with others. Um, and so there's a lot of heart-based ones. Um, you have coming together, you have lead. Um, but this, I also think, talks about your shadow self, too. I like that there's multiple layers in each deck. I'm not going to go through all of them, but here we'll change your focus. I mean, some of these, these, some of these are topics or cards that you are not going to come across in any other deck. Daydreams and decisions. I mean, this is really a well thought out. Oh, I love this one. Dreams coming true. So love, love this deck. It also does come with a book. I don't use it. You're going to see like, look at that. Hasn't even been bent. I do, I do not personally use these because to me, this, this is his interpretation and that's great. Love John Holland. He's great. Um, but I want my own intuition and that's why I like that there's not many words on each of these cards, but it is a really nice book, you know, well thought out descriptions then over here, um, they give you different spreads, colors. So they actually give you color symbolism, color interpretation, which is great. Um, but remember, you can have your own. So for example, it says, uh, it does talk about the base chakra. I like that. So it gives you many different, so like red, passion, romantic love, enthusiasm, boldness, vitality, power, confidence, courage, anger. I like that they put that in. Um, it is also associated with the base chakra. This, this is actually pretty good. I've not, I've not, like I said, I haven't even opened this. Well, now I have. Um, but that is, that is really nice to have in there, especially if you're a beginning reader. Oh, and they have all the clairs and then they have some spreads. So, I mean, this is good, but again, don't go by the meaning of each card. Come up with your own meaning. Um, you know, I think that that is really important. So that is my thought on this deck. I love it, as you can tell. Clearly, I'm a little bit enamored with this deck. So the other product that we're going to talk about today is this candle. And I know you've seen me bring this up before and I've talked about it before. But you know what? I'm looking at it. It's here in front of me. I am big into candles. I have candles all over my house. Um, this is with the Beam Candle Company. Um, or, well, let's see, what does it say? Candle Factory. Um, and this was made with my friend um, from the Empathic Heart, Laura. Um, and she co-designed this. This is actually her um, her logo. And it is Spiritual Sage. And it is you can get it at theempathicheart.com. Um, so I love this. It is a um, wick candle. Um, and they have a whole bunch, but all of their candles have wooden wicks and I'm going to light it for you, but I've had this, oh gosh, I mean, you can look back at my first video with this in it. And I mean, this is how long, and I light it for literally every reading because it, cl it cleans. It has lavender and I believe it also has sage. Let's see. So I'm trying to read it and make sure it's in the thing. Premium Palo Santo oil infused wood wick and it's soy and it's sage um, base. But I think there's also some lavender in there as well. And we're going to light this up. 
And I'm going to get nice and close so you can hear cracking. So this has lasted me for quite a while. Um, and I mean, the smell is incredible. It, you know, it's, I, I think it is my favorite candle. Um, and I always, I always do like to light a white candle when I do readings. Um, because white candles for me symbolize the connection to the divine. I work with the light. I work in the light. And when I light a white candle, I always ask for divine presence, protection, and purity so that the space is pure, the space is cleansed, um, I'm cleansed, the words that are channeling are cleansed. Um, and so for me, the fact that this is white is very important. And I'm an earth sign. So the, the, and actually I think my rising sign is fire. So this is actually a really good mix of the wood and the flame. Um, but I'm very much attracted to the wood. The only thing they could add to that is throwing a couple stones and then we're good to go. Uh, the earth side of me would really be humming then. Um, but if you like candles, if you're into candles, I am really a fan of this one. And again, um, let's get nice and close. The empathic heart. You can see it's well used, all the wax. Um, the empathic heart dot com. Here we'll... See if we can get a good view. And then over here, let's get the, the Beam Candle Factory. I'm trying to give you... If you go back to that first, um, that first video I made of it... Here, I'm going to blow out the candle. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, and I'm whew, getting a little hot. Um... I put all of the links up there. I'm going to try to get the link back in here. Um, Facebook.com slash Beam Candle Factory is their link. But I think they do have a website as well. Oh, yep. BeamCandleFactory.com. That's pretty easy. BeamCandleFactory.com. Um, and like I said, I absolutely love this. None of this is sponsored. Um, you know, this was given to me again, probably about a year ago. And this is, you know, for using it almost every single reading, you know, and, and some of my readings last for, oh gosh, oh, well over an hour. Um, in fact, one of my last sessions that lasted for an hour and a half. Oh goodness. My dog has decided to destroy Apollo. Come here. You are naughty little doggy. My entire house is now covered in fuzz. So this is what it's like a three year old. You turn your back for one minute, and that's what happens. I'm now holding him so he cannot get a sick little tummy from eating Snoopy. Um, so, yeah, so this is my review. If you want more reviews, again, give it this a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, well, welcome. Um, if you are enjoying this, you know, and again, if you're new, check out all my other videos. I have meditations and readings, um, both for the week and for the month by your sign. And, um, and that's all she wrote. So if you want, um, to see a product or something reviewed, um, let me know and I'll look into it and I will do some more for you guys because I absolutely, absolutely Love these products and I love sharing with you my favorite stuff. Um, but I do think reviewing is important and I do give honest reviews, although I will more than likely not give you things that I love. Um, but if I come across things that, you know, I'm not in love with, I will share that with you as well. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Check out the other videos, click like and subscribe and know that I love you guys. Bye.